Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan and I'm here with the plan with me in my recollections planner for the week of August 13th through the 19th. So our spread from last week, I actually didn't post it because it was quite blurry, but this is how it turned out. It was so cute. Um, this was a printable from Etsy. And again, this week we'll be using a printable from a shop called Paper and Gumption. The name of the stickers are Passion for Fashion. So here we jump right in laying some washi tape from the Happy Planner and it's in black and white and polka dots. And I thought it would go good with this uh, washi, which I put the wrong strip on the wrong side, but no fears, I patch it right up. And then we jump to putting down our date covers. Now jumping right into check boxes, checklists, icons, and various other decor stickers that give this spread just that added pop. It's so feminine. And I love the sticker right there in the right hand top right hand corner. That sticker is a, uh, it has Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford um, book stack there. So th that was really, really cute. Just changing some things around, trying to, you know, make the color scheme work. Um, there's a weekend banner right there that I put on Friday and just lining things up just a little bit better here. And of course, adding more icons. Look at that cute little planner sticker. So just making sure that I have everything down. This week will be an extremely busy week. And as you can see, this spread definitely reflects all the things that I need to get done. I um, am just finishing up the sidebar here on the right hand side of the page after I put some checklists and things down. And of course, my hand is the perfect place to store stickers until they're needed. So jumping right in, it's time to get some plans laid down. But we'll start with the dates. I am using my Paper Mate Flare in black and it is a uh, medium is the point for that. And then I decided that I would also just use the Paper Mate Flare to put my plans down. And so you'll see me here just filling out all the things that I have to get done for the various days of the week. And I love how this Paper Mate Flare feels. You know, I br I've broke them out a couple of times lately, but when I first started planning the first year in 2017, I pretty much used the Paper Mate Flare for most of my spreads. But I forgot how much I really enjoyed using these pens, even though I'm staying with just the black one. I still like how they write. And of course they don't bleed through the pages, which for a planner girl, that is like one of the most important things about a pen. You wanna make sure that it doesn't bleed through or leave shadowing on your pages. So I'll just go through here and finish uh, filling in all the plans that I have for next week. So this is my completed spread for the week. Um, I'll have to say that even though there is some white space on the spread, it is extremely busy. Like it's a lot. Like I prefer clean spreads, but I'm going to say there is a part of me that really likes how this looks. Um, it's very feminine as I stated before. But, I mean, I think it came together really well. Um, and once again, to remind you, these stickers are from Paper and Gumptions. Um, and it's Passion for Fashion. I, it has Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford. Love that sticker right there on the left-hand side in the corner on that stack of books. So, yeah. Um, 
excited to do this. Um, if you guys liked this spread, um, give me a thumbs up so I will continue to share my recollection spread with you. Still trying to debate my lineup if I'm going to have a spiral planner in the lineup for next year. Well, thank you again for joining me and give me a thumbs up like I said if you like this video. Otherwise, have a great and productive week. Ciao, Bella.